Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack. Welcome back to part two of skins that we will never see in Overwatch. Now, even though this is like the second episode or part two, you don't necessarily need to go watch the first one to understand what's going to be going on in this second episode. I just wanted to preference that so that if you may be expecting me to talk about some skins in this video that you don't see, well, it's probably because they're in the first video. And also, I want you guys to go watch the first one too. So if you want to go see it, that's there. But in that first video, I had a lot of you guys leave comments talking about some ideas of skins that you would love to see come to Overwatch, but you know will probably never come true. Maybe due to copyright issues, maybe due to it not working for the character in Overwatch, or maybe it just doesn't look that great, but something that you would love to see. I'm talking to you, Bowser comments. <laughs> so I figured for a portion of this video, I showcase some of your guys' comments along with some artwork that goes along with the comments that you left that I found on the internet. Because my god, this art that I found is amazing. By the way, all the links of these artists or the artwork itself is down in the description if you wanna go, you know, follow them or just go look at it yourself. Because my god, all of these are beautiful. So the first skin that we will probably ne- Well, I don't actually want to say we will never see because it's actually a, a big possibility this could happen. But this is going to be a Doomfist Thanos skin. This is the most thumbed up comment on that video along with some other comments talking about, hey, I want a Doomfist Thanos skin. And my god, this art that I found j just made me want to s just have that in the game even more. So even though this video is titled skins that we will never see, this is probably the closest skin that that could be a possibility that is the most copyrighted character in the modern day era. The only reason why is because we saw something like this with Fortnite. And I know a lot of people hate me talking about Fortnite, but I need to talk about this because this was big news. When Thanos, the villain from Infinity War, came to Fortnite as a playable character in a specific limited time game mode, that was the not the biggest thing in video gaming. It was a big thing, don't get me wrong, because one of the biggest movie crossovers in modern day era, crossing over with one of the biggest video games of all time whether you love it or hate it we can all admit this was a big massive crossover so <laughs> to see that be a possibility well it leaves me to believe that maybe overwatch could get a thanos skin for doomfist so do i think the concept of doomfist thanos is amazing obviously i mean doomfist literally has the gauntlet with the uh the infinity stones okay some of you guys might hate me but here's a quick disclaimer i still haven't seen infinity war and i know some of you guys are gonna be like, bro what? You haven't seen the greatest movie of all time? Understand this. One, I don't have time to go watch movies, okay? I'm a YouTuber. I'm either A, making videos, B, playing the game Overwatch to make videos, or C, watching YouTube. And also, I don't need to go outside. Like, why would I leave my little bubble when I could just stay indoors? Indoors. And I'm just gonna stop right there. Great concept, both bald, gauntlet on the fist, and yeah, and I still... Haven't seen the movie. Oh, well, you just stream it online, bro. Because I don't want the FBI to come to my house, okay? They probably already see my Bowsette stuff and get creeped out by me anyway. Another comment that I saw that once I actually Googled fan art for the skin, I was like, yes, 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 please. Can we have this? This is more superhero skin, so get ready for it. This is a Farrah Iron Man skin. I don't need to say anything else. It's kind of similar to like how the Samus skin was for Farrah. Literally, it's just Farrah with Iron Man's armor. But that's all you need. That's all you need for one of the greatest Ferris skins of all time, if not one of the greatest skins of all time. If any of these skins ever came to Overwatch, this would be top five greatest skins. Doomfist Thanos, a Samus Farrah, or in this case, Iron Man Farrah, and <laughs> it would be perfect just because, well, they both wear armor. Yes, it is gender bending, but again, it, it's 2018, y'all. I think we're allowed to do that. It's a simple concept, really takes heavy inspiration from the Iron Man armor, and that's all you really need to have this amazing crossover skin with Farrah. But the next skin idea that we would probably never ever see in Overwatch is a skin for a hero that I love and is it from a video game series that I also mildly love. I don't extremely love it because I'm just not that big. It is a Pac-Man Wrecking Ball skin or a Pac-Man Hammond skin. It literally... <laughs> Okay, let me just explain the skin. Pac-Man's face or Pac-Man's body is literally going to be the Wrecking Ball portion of the Hammond skin. And some people might want the face, some people might suggest the body to replace the whole entire Wrecking Ball, but that might be a little bit awkward because 
you know, the, the, the wrecking ball ball doesn't have a mouth. And if you replace it, you know, that just really wouldn't work. So I would go with the face, but that's how 90% of Hammond skins pretty much go is that you just take any circular object, whether it's IRL or in a different video game and replace the ball portion with that idea. And the Hammond portion, the hamster part is the more complex version of the skin. Fortunately with this skin though, it's not all that complex. Hammond is literally the ghost after Pac-Man eats the, the ghost after taking his meth ball or whatever it is. So I love this skin. I love Hammond. So I'd love any skin that comes to him because he needs to have some more skins. I, I know some people cringe at that, but I mean, after seeing this artwork, how can you not want the skin? Also, by the way, Lydia, so follow him in, on, on Instagram. He's just so amazing with his drawings. There's going to be another skin later in this video featured from him. If you go to his page, by the way, leave a comment saying, bro, you whack wants more May art because I love his art, but he's lacking in May art. I like May art. But sticking to that same video game theme, because in all honesty, why wouldn't we want other video game characters in Overwatch skin form? I, I think we can all agree that would be a great crossover. But this is going into the Nintendo slash Mario universe, and this is going to be a Peach Mercy skin. And I'll be the first one to say Mercy kind of already somewhat has a Peach skin. It's literally just an all pink skin with the pink Mercy skin but she doesn't look like a princess. Come to think of it, I can't remember off the top of my head if any girl or if any character in Overwatch has a princess skin, and that might seem a little bit sexist. I'm not really, like, why wouldn't any girl wanna feel like a princess? You know what I mean? But like, especially Mercy, man. Why wouldn't Mercy wanna feel like a princess? And Peach is a princess. They're both beautiful, and they're both have blonde hair. Why not make Mercy a Peach character? Oh, I think I know why. It's because Nintendo! It's very stingy with their characters. All jokes aside though, this skin crossover would be appreciated by so many video game lovers out there because, well, when you look at Mercy, she's often behind Tracer and D.Va as the poster child of Overwatch, or just very iconic whenever it comes to Overwatch. A lot of people recognize Mercy, but especially Princess Peach. She's one of the most iconic, if not the most iconic female video game character of all time. So to really have her be represented in Overwatch with a Mercy Peach skin would be amazing. Amazing. Again, it's kind of similar to like the pink skin, but here what I'm really going for is that traditional princess pinkish dress with the crown replacing her halo, and then her staff also is replaced by the umbrella that is often seen with Princess Peach. But remember when I said Lydia's would have another skin on this video? Well, this is it right here. But originally, what I simply wanted was just a Link Genji skin. Why? Well, Ocarina of Time is one of my favorite video games of all time, favorite Zelda game of all time, and my boyish mind often associates people that have swords with other people that have swords. I mean, Link has the master sword and Genji just has his regular sword. So I thought, okay, give Genji a Link skin with a master sword instead of his ninja sword and that'd be perfect. But when I went to go and credit the Pac-Man skin from none other than Lydia's himself, I saw his recent post was none other than the idea of a Link Genji skin and along with that, Mercy as his little fairy companion. Now nobody loves the fairies, so that's not an idea. Here we're focusing on sexy, sexy Genji Link or Genj Link. I really hope that's not the name of it, but maybe it will be. But if you don't know who Link is, I'm literally getting hyped for nothing, but shame on you for not playing with the greatest video game series of all time, right next to Pokemon, Animal Crossing, and of course Overwatch, but it's okay. It's okay, we'll let this one slide. But this skin more or less is taking the art style of the older style of Lynx with like o Ocarina of Time and what it, what's the other one that I also love? Wind Waker, I love Wind Waker. That was one of my first Zeldas I ever played, but I really got into Ocarina of Time. What I'm trying to get at is that I would just like the skin, okay? I like the style, I like the, the concept of it. I like the fact that his sword would probably be the master sword. I just don't know what his stars would be. If anyone can leave a comment down below of what Genji's stars would be replaced, inspired from the Zelda universe please let me know <laughs> well it doesn't even matter why because nintendo nintendo doesn't want to give any ips to anybody else because they oh! oh we're not done with the genji skins one last skin before we end the video this is again taking my boyish mind and associating people with a sword or in this case a lightsaber and this is a darth vader genji skin why because I want to see Genji wielding a lightsaber, bruh! But not only that, he would have a cape too. Now, would a ninja need a cape? No. But it would be cool to see nonetheless. Again, it's just taking the concept of different aspects of Darth Vader and Genji and pairing them together. They both wear a mask to hide their ugly face. They both have like a, an iconic sword-like thing that they swing around often. And... 
wouldn't you want to see Genji in all black again? I mean, we have Oni, we have Blackwatch, why wouldn't we want another all black Genji skin? A lot of these skin concepts are just because the idea of it is cool. Would it be practical? Maybe not. As as we saw with Darth Genji, or as we saw with Pac-Man Hammond, maybe it wouldn't work out. But it's really the concept that we just come to appreciate, and then we can all dream that maybe one day it could happen. Would it though? Mm. I don't know, maybe one day. But anyway guys, like I did for the last video, I want you guys to comment down below of some more ideas that you would like to see. Whether it's copyrighted or not, whether it's from a franchise like Disney slash Pixar slash Star Wars slash Disney owns literally everything. I think Disney owns Starbucks. I don't think they own Starbucks, that was stupid. But literally, <laughs> it could be of any kind of idea and if it's great enough and if it gets thumbed up enough, I'll maybe make a part three. But I'll see you guys then if I decide to do that. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come, and bye.